Now at four, the countdown is on to Monday's solar eclipse. I'm excited. I need to get my glasses. Several North Carolina researchers will use this rare event to better understand how animals respond. The experts talking to Amber Rupinta about why this research is so groundbreaking. They started moving around more rapidly. When it comes to animals and their behavior during an eclipse, NC State professor of biological sciences, Dr. Adam Hartstone Rose is the expert. And I actually didn't realize until about two months ago that I am regarded as an expert in this. That's because of the work Dr. Hartstone Rose conducted during the 2017 eclipse. Then he was at the University of South Carolina and conducted a study watching 17 different species at a zoo in the path of totality. It was the most comprehensive study in almost 100 years. Turns out his findings were groundbreaking as the only broad study of animal behavior during a solar eclipse was conducted in New England back in 1932. They put out advertisements in the newspapers all along the path of totality and they got people to write in about their animal observations. For this eclipse, Dr. Hartstone Rose and other NCSU students and researchers will head to a zoo in Fort Worth, Texas. There they'll gather more data building on his previous study finding odd behavior from from several animals. During the eclipse, several species started having anxiety related behavior. Everything from the flamingos, all the adults grouped around the chicks and to like kind of protect them. Giraffes are really like calm animals and during our observations, they started running around the Galapagos tortoises. Started moving around more rapidly, which is weird for a tortoise yeah. anyway. Yeah. And then a couple of them actually started mating right at the peak of totality. Dr. Hartstone Rose is hoping you'll also help out in gathering data for this eclipse. He's inviting everyone to join his citizen scientist project called Solar Eclipse Safari to collect animal observations from people viewing the eclipse across the nation. And we're really excited to get information from potentially other zoos, but also other places like farms. Um, what ha Nobody's ever published what roosters do during an eclipse. Shouldn't they crow? We don't know. But that data on how animals respond to solar eclipses will grow as the sun dims Monday. Amber Rapinta, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. And ABC News has you covered with everything you need to know about the upcoming event. So be sure to watch Eclipse Across America. It airs on Monday at 2 p.m. right here on ABC 11.